Hello students and friends. Welcome back to my session on SOLIDWORKS in 2020s. We are in day 6. Today we will say about uh, modeling a spring. How to make a spring. Okay. Uh, in 2-3 uh, minutes you can complete this one of course. As usual, let me open a new file, a part file. Plain white. Now before that the spring you should have a mean dia wire dia pitch okay let the mean dia be the 25 mm the wire dia maybe 2 mm the pitch um, okay let it be for 4 mm so how many turn number of turns let it be 10 turns okay, so these are the parameters that you require to develop a spring see especially in solid model mostly I think uh, we will be uh, uh, I will be taking the lessons uh, based on the specifications actually the specifications are also very important without any specification if you do anything uh, that won't uh, be useful actually for developing any part or product okay so these are the things so first the mean dia 25 mm now for that see carefully the sketch I am choosing the top plane I am drawing a circle for that mean dia for that mean dia the mean dia is 25 of course ok so this is over then first of all before uh, uh, going about the wire dia uh, pitch uh, number of turns and all uh, for the pitch and number of turns uh, there is a command now I, we are inside we are inside the sketch okay mm, in that you see that before exiting be, uh, even before exiting the sketch from the sketch you use the pull down menu insert curve again I repeat don't exit from the sketch let it let, let you be inside the sketch go to insert pull down menu curve there is a command called helix and spiral helix is three dimensional spiral is not a three dimensional it is in a single plane will be a yeah, mosquito coil is a spiral a mosquito coil is a spiral okay helix is nothing but uh, a thread a thread uh, so you see if you turn the net it will be moving up or down linearly so that means it is three dimensional spiral is a two dimensional so single command is available for spiral and helix so pitch and revolution that is what we require right so pitch is 4 mm revolution is nothing but number of turns 10 so pitch is 4 number of revolution is 10 so pitch let it be 10 let it be sorry 4 pitch let it be 4 Mm, the wire dia is 2 mm right yeah ok number of revolutions 10 still you have more options ok in this, instead of a, a helical if you want spiral you can use this one so pitch revolution standard thing uh, it is uh, sufficient for you so either clockwise or anti-clockwise that also possible ok what I am telling you is the standard uh, options are that we have with us okay you test it with the, the all the options available under this dialog box now I press okay now you see that a yeah, helix uh, is made now I just move you see a yeah, spiral is made um, yeah front view the one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 revolutions actually. 10 revolutions actually. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
yes tan revolution uh, between the gap between these two is the pitch 4 mm okay then the next one is now we used uh, we have drawn 25 mm pitch a number of turns a number of turns are revolution 10 now the wire dia 2 mm for that you need a, you need to uh, create another sketch okay to create that sketch you need a datum plane or a reference plane on that plane only you have to draw the circle so create a plane reference plane first dialog box I click the dialog box first reference is my point the second reference is my the helix okay it is fully defined press okay now your plane is made okay uh, let me hide the plane whenever i click the plane that that time only i can see that okay so the now i clicked the plane then i am going for sketch so the spring of course Uh, before that what i can do is before drawing the circle of diameter 2 mm the wire dia let me put a point then i will make it at 00 00 then i'll fix it okay fixing is also very important let's keep you see it can be moved the point can be moved anywhere so if you fix then you cannot move so first let me then you fix okay now you see this point cannot be moved it is fixed now with respect to that as the center you draw a circle you draw the circle of diameter equal to the wire diameter which is equal to 2m where is it yeah 2m 2m exit so first i draw i have drawn the circle then i the, uh, with with that circle as a sketch i use the helix uh, uh, curve command under the pull down menu insert then the uh, that is the available there so i use that one the second sketch at this particular point on this helix i created a reference plane on that plane i marked a point first okay i fix the point at origin 0, 0 x y 0, 0 and i fixed it with that as the center i have drawn a circle of diameter 2 mm which is nothing but the wire dia okay now uh, how to get the spring select these two using control key go for sweep sweep you already know that you need a profile a close to one and a path open one helix is the open path the wire diameter 2 mm circle is the uh, profile so everything is made so now you see that the spring is made we can make some changes we can make some changes Uh, instead of put four mm pitch, uh, if we put eight mm, you see what happens. So this is eight mm pitch, ten rotations. So this is how uh, you can uh, make. Okay. Uh, there is one more thing I didn't tell that one. Now this is a roll back uh, in the design tree. This is a roll roll back bar. I could say I do not know the correct name. so you can go back and forth so that you will you, you can understand how i progressed how i progressed okay for that uh, let me open a previous file my previous file okay there are two things you know that there are two three features that i used roll back i created this first created this next created this next. so you can go roll you can go back and forth so that if it is will be a really good tool for you to learn that how the uh, one particular person or the person has pro proce uh, has proceeded to 
mm, make the model actually right let me close this one so this is how I made this okay so today uh, is a very short uh, uh, session actually but still you understood how to make a spring okay the spring can be since I used a circle I just make some changes here you see that instead of this one I will make it uh, construction I will draw a oblong like uh, thing eh? you see what happens without any dimension of course see that something like a plate spring the cross section is this way so uh, in uh, while developing a uh, a bolt a bolt has a thread okay so that means uh, in that case after creating the body shank uh, portion of the bolt um, use this uh, helix and uh, uh, yeah, triangle v cut if you use the cut sweep the cut sweep is available okay cut sweep is available now what I used here is sweep boss or boss sweep instead if you use cut sweep sweep cut you can you, you can get a cut in the shank portion of the uh, bolt so thereby you can um, you can make a thread on the bolt the shank portion of the bolt okay I can make I can do it now but uh, you try you try uh, uh, you try for some time if you are not able to understand you please uh, 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 send me a text uh, so then I can uh, 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 conduct a, a session exclusively for that actually okay so uh, I think uh, for today I believe it is sufficient because uh, I'm continuously working for the past five days in uh, developing uh, three different sessions actually um, whatever uh, resources are available with me I, I as promised I am I'm doing my best uh, at the fifth day uh, there won't be any problem for me to develop a session for full 21 days uh, as far as the uh, work is concerned but uh, for PLC and Arduino let us see okay so since I I said I, I'll try my level best to fulfill okay so uh, you, you I think you understood uh, how you can make uh, a, a spring or a coil okay um, then uh, if you feel it is useful you please uh, subscribe my channel and inform this to others also let them uh, get, get some benefit out of uh, my sessions uh, not only on this SOLIDWORKS also for uh, Arduino and uh, uh, PLCs actually okay maybe tomorrow uh, I will tell you uh, I will show you one real product a commercial product uh, combining uh, SOLIDWORKS and uh, SOLIDWORKS and uh, the PLC okay that means the same content uh, is common for both uh, SOLIDWORKS as well as PLC okay thank you